Hello again. I'm sorry for the 28 second thought for the day, but uh, unfortunately we're in the Philippines and therefore things happen when you least expect them. We're in between heavy downpours of rain and now the evening has come upon us. The cock-a-doodle-doos are starting to let themselves be known. And as a result, I'm a little bit muddled, but the, the point of my last video really was the intention was to highlight the fact that so many of you guys, especially from America, I'm sorry guys, I keep apologizing for you, but you are very timid in relationship to coming over here to the Philippines and send me messages or ask me questions face to face which really quite astound me, really, because we're all grown adults, I think, especially once we get over 60. I think we're old enough then to make our own mind up. But they tend to still be very sheepish, as my mother would say, or procrastinating in a situation which really they know their own answer. So it's a little rhetorical. But they essence of my video today is about if you really want to come here and you have a return ticket to come here which is essential really it's your um, emergency exit and therefore there is nothing really to risk except the airfare and maybe a bit of the money that you spent while you were here deciding it wasn't the right place but if it is the right place, and you did make the right decision, if you've got, be it 70, 80, 90,000 pesos per month to live on, and you're planning to come and live here in the Philippines, in the province, rather than, say, Manila, which is extremely expensive to stay in, then why not throw caution to the wind and do it? Because... Sadly, like my dear friend Michael, he had all the plans of a good life here, but it was cut short. And therefore, you don't want to fall into that category of falling short. Yes, there's no medical backup here. You've got to pay it for it by cash. They won't let you out of the hospital unless you have arranged for some method of payment. And yes, there's brownouts, and yes, there's this, and yes, there's that. Very annoying, very pain in the butt. But the thing is that nothing is unsurmountable. If you are intending to come here, live frugally, and enjoy being frugal, then why not? After all, most people's, most people's uh, retirement is often in a frugal sense not splashing out on unwanted items and therefore to suggest that retirement is all I've worked for all my life and I'm not going to set myself backwards I'm not going to live in poverty nobody's asking you to and those that can make that statement are probably sitting on what we might call the pig's back on five six seven thousand pesos a month sorry, dollars a month. And it's a little arrogant for them to suggest that because why on earth are they bothering to watch something about how to save money when you come here? It doesn't cost that much to live. And therefore, if you want to live, are you suggesting that to live like a Filipino is a yeah, backward step? Do you think they're all walking around like zombies with no skin on their bones? You know, I mean, it is ridiculous. There's people who are obese here, so they can't be doing too badly food-wise. So, give it some thought, book that ticket, come on over. You know, yes, the beaches are beautiful, yes, the girls are lovely, the people are friendly, and it's the place to be. Come to the Philippines. Bye now.